Hi Knitters, this is Daria from Laylock.org and I wanted to share a really useful decrease technique with you today. Um, <clears throat> this is a pattern I'm working on and you can see the decrease worked here. It's a central decrease. I'm working it over ribbing but you can use it in stocking stitch or anything else. And in this case I'm doing an 8 stitch decrease. And this is how it works. So we won't need the working yarn for this so we can just leave it at the back for now. And what you do is you slip one, two, three, four, five stitches onto your right hand needle and then you take the second stitch on the right hand needle and you pass it over the first one and that's one stitch decreased and then you place the stitch back on the left hand needle and then you take this time the second stitch on the left hand needle and pass it over that first stitch and that's two stitches decreased and then you just repeat that so three stitches And you can see how it's starting to form the central decrease. If you lose track of where you were, whether you need to slip this, the stitches on this side, pass the stitches on this side or this side, you can just have a look and you can see the last one you passed was on this side. So then you put it back on there. And you can do any number of stitches to decrease, um, but you have to slip the right number of stitches before you begin it. Otherwise, for example here, you'll end up with a random slipped stitch. So if you want to work a six stitch decrease, you do half the number. So you could do three or four depending on which needle you start from. I did five because I started from this needle. Okay, so we're at six. So seven. And then back here, eight. So now this is on the right needle and this is where my working yarn is so I knit this stitch like so and then I purl this one and then I just continue on in ribbing. So there you have your decrease. I hope you find it useful. Um, as you can see I'm using it in this new scarf or stole pattern I'm working on. So the lace starts at the bottom and then continues and it allows me to decrease these stitches that, that are increased in the lace section. It makes a really nice sort of bell shaped decrease. And you can use it in thinner yarns, like so. I think it also looks very pretty if you can see it and it makes a nice because it's, if you decrease a lot of stitches, it'll form a nice scallop at the bottom of the piece. And I've also used this before <clears throat> with my um, hot water bottle cover pattern, if you've seen it. Um, so I've decreased the cables at the very top. Give you a closer look. It, it gives a really nice round top to the cables. So that's also a pattern available on laylock.org if you're interested. I hope this has been a helpful video. Uh, let me know if there are any other videos that you would like me to do, if you need help with anything. And I'll see you again later. Happy knitting!